So make sure you guys are hashtagging Jazz Day at home. We've got plenty more for you guys, but make sure you stay inside, stay safe. We can't have music festivals as we used to, but I think that this is gonna be a pretty good substitution considering we've got Mr. Leroy Jones coming up. And Mr. Leroy Jones is incredible. He's also essential. He is uh, one of the, as they say, flame keepers for traditional New Orleans music, the music of Buddy Bolton, the music of uh, Louis Armstrong, that traditional. And you can hear it in every note that he plays. He has dedicated his life to this. He's been doing this since he was 10. He's been leading bands since he was 12. Um, he's traveled the world to share the music. I mean, he's played with Della Reese and Eddie Cleanhead Vinson and uh, Harry Connick Jr., perhaps most notably. Um, and it's all a testament to his ability to, to, uh, to reawaken that love we have, to keep awake that love we have for the tradition of New Orleans music. And so we really appreciate you, Mr. Leroy Jones. We look forward to hearing what you have to play for us. Everybody check it out. Thanks. My name is Leroy Jones. The New Orleans Jazz National Historical Park's mission is to serve the nation as a global leader in the promulgation of New Orleans jazz by enhancing and instilling a public appreciation and understanding of the origins, early history, development, and progression of this uniquely American music art form, jazz. To preserve unimpaired this cultural resource and its core values for the enjoyment, education, and inspiration of this and future generations. Please enjoy this virtual concert. Back Home Again in Indiana is a song composed by James F. Hanley with lyrics by Ballard McDonald that was published in January 1917. Although it is not the state song of Indiana, which is on the banks of the Wabash far away, it is perhaps the best known song that pays tribute to the Hoosier State. In 1917, it was one of the current pop tunes selected by Columbia Records to be recorded by the original Dixieland Jazz Band, who released it as a 78 with Dogtown Strutter's Ball. This lively instrumental version by the ODJB was one of the earliest jazz records issued and sold well. The tune became a jazz standard. For years, Louis Armstrong and his all-stars would open every public performance with the number. Its core changes undergird the Charlie Parker composition, Donna Lee, one of jazz's best known contrafacts, a composition that lays a new melody over an existing harmonic structure. I'm gonna give you my rendition of it. Hope you enjoy. <laughs>
1920 popular song written by Al Jolson, Buddy De Silva, and Vincent Rose, referencing Avalon, California. It was introduced by Jolson and interpolated in the musicals Sinbad and Bombo. Jolson's recording rose to number two on the charts in 1921. The song was possibly written by Rose, but Jolson's popularity as a performer allowed him to claim composer co-credit. Originally, only Rose and Jolson were credited, and the silver's name was added later. <laughs> popular song written by Larry Shea, Mark Fisher, and Joe Goodwin, 
1928. It bears resemblance to the Spanish Cancion Amapolo by Jose Maria Lacalle Garcia. <laughs>
I'm going to sit right down and write myself a letter is a 1935 popular song with music by Fred E. Allard and lyrics by Joe Young. It has been recorded many times and has become a standard of the great American songbook. It was popularized by Fats Waller, who recorded it in 1935 at the height of his fame. Christian hymn with lyrics by S. Fillmore Bennett and music by Joseph T. Webster, published in 1868. It is recognizable by its chorus. In the sweet by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore. In the sweet by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore. <laughs> Thank you. 
Do You Know What It Means to Miss New Orleans is a song written by lyricist Eddie DeLang and composer Louis Alter, which was first heard in the movie New Orleans in 1947, where it was performed by Louis Armstrong and sung by Billie Holiday. The song has been recorded by various artists. <laughs> Your heart, and 
those Creole tunes that fill the air, and I dream of those magnolias in bloom, and I'm wishing that I was there. Paradise on Earth is a song written in 2005 by Finnish-born musician, musicologist Katia Toivola. It is a song of endearment, a love letter to her city of residence, New Orleans. The song is also the title track on a 2012 indie release by the New Orleans Helsinki Connection, a band founded by Toivola. <laughs> Open arms 
is paradise on earth for me. On behalf of the New Orleans Jazz National Historical Park, I would like to thank you for being a part of this virtual concert. Have a wonderful day and stay safe.